chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew too let's go they want to be blessed with your presence one last time god said it will never happen again people need to realize that it's certain people you can play with and it's certain people that you shouldn't people who play with other people don't realize that sooner or later the person that you're playing with is going to be tired of it and when a person is tired of you playing with them they're either going to do one or two of two things they're going to let you know that they're tired of you playing with them or they're just going to bounce so when a person is tired of you playing with them they're going to bounce or just let or like tell you straight up but a lot of people who find themselves being played with and when they're tired of it you're you're really lucky if somebody will explain to you the situation and try to try to fix things try to make things work but when a person is really fed up then what they're going to do is bounce they're going to bounce all right because they don't want to tolerate that bs anymore people just keep going keep going it's like they're the energizer bunny and they think that you're going to stick around and deal with what they ha have to offer I don't, i'm not sure if it's like a thing where they think you can't find anybody else to chill with or hang around maybe they think you have no friends or maybe they see that you 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 stay to yourself or you're not that much of a a people person by choice not to say that you don't know how to communicate or deal with people but you just rather be by yourself for the most of your time that's like how you like to use your time you just like to be by yourself nothing wrong with that but they act like you can't go enjoy yourself and live your life without the way that they deal with you and people don't want to be people don't want to be played with so what they do is they find an alternative that works for them even if that alternative is to find some new friends sometimes that's the best alternative because people don't get the message people don't get the the people don't get the idea that you're tired and when a person is done they're done it's really no convincing someone when they really feel it in their soul like eh, man i can't do this anymore and once a person feels like that, that person is convinced that they're better off without the people that are playing with them. And most of the time you are. When people play with you to the point where it becomes past aggravating, it becomes disrespectful, you can't tolerate that. And if you're not going to continue to ha to if you're not going to continue to let these things bother you then it's best you just move on and sometimes that sends a strong message it's like you don't want these things to continue to bother you you don't want to continue to be bothered with their behavior and they think it's a game. They think it's a joke. It's like they don't get it. And not everyone has time for people to get it. Some people get it. Some people don't. Some people change. And they will be a different person around you because they have respect. And then other people, they don't care what type of person they are around you. They just want you to deal with it. Most people want you to tolerate who they are. But they don't tolerate you they don't tolerate the type of person that you are but you're willing to tolerate the type of person that they are see 
when, when dealing with people, it's give and take because nobody's perfect. People have to deal with you and you have to deal with them. But when people don't work with you, that's when it gets real. All right, that's when it gets real <laughs> lonely for them because they they don't grow up, they don't mature. And when you're grow when, when you're grown and you're growing and you're maturing, it's not that you you're you're throwing shade or it's not that you're you're like bat, backbiting or bad mouthing or, or talking about them behind their back. It's just that it's not something that you want to be a part of. It's not something that you have time for. Your presence shouldn't be used that way. You shouldn't be used that way. People are bored and they're low vibrational. And that's a bad mix because they like to use other people's lives for their entertainment. You're not anybody's entertainment. People shouldn't be trying to get a laugh off of you. People shouldn't be trying to come at you in a way that says you're not really down with me like you, you, you think you are. I'm just pretending that you are. And a lot of people pretend. A lot of people are pretenders. They want to they wanna put on a show and they will act a certain way to keep you around and they'll say certain things and send certain shots out to see if you're picking up on it but you're probably intuitive and you probably see you probably pick up on it and you're able to tell so that's why you don't like people playing with you because you're able to tell your intuition easily picks up on the games that people are playing no matter how slick or no matter how sneaky they think they are whatever they say is is real easily detected but i mean they don't think you could pick up on it they think it's just going over your head or they think you're not able to to tell but this is real easy because you know how you feel when people say things to you when people speak and when people say things it has a vibration and you feel that vibration and you can tell when somebody's being fake or somebody's being phony or somebody is not not being honest with you. You don't have time for people to not be honest with you. You don't have time for people to be phony. You don't have time for people to be fake. See, most people that don't have any objectives for their life or they don't see themselves going anywhere, they just take it easy. And there's nothing wrong with taking it easy. But at some point, a person has to has to at least change for themselves. So that way they can reach a different level. But when you see people staying the same and not changing and continuing to do the same things, that's just them. That's that's what they want to do. That's who they are. It may benefit you to distance yourself from them, take a break, take a break from them, maybe a permanent break. <clears throat> but what they don't realize is Sometimes people just don't come back. They think sometimes people leave and people will go off and people will eventually circle back around. Oh, I just haven't seen them for a while. Some of them think that you don't have anyone. Some of them think that you're all by yourself and that you're alone. They don't take into consideration that you use your time differently than they do. They don't take into consideration that when you are coming around them, and giving them access to your time, it's a, it's a special occasion. Not, not to say that you're any better or any more special than anyone. It's just a special occasion because you're probably busy. You're probably working. There are things that you're probably doing. And it, it is special when you make time for other people. And that's how you should see that. That's how they should see that. But like I said, they're taking it easy. They don't value their time the way you do. Deal with people who value their time the way you value yours. If somebody is not going to let you play with them, mostly they won't let, most likely they won't let you play, they won't be playing with you. If somebody won't let you play with them, most likely they won't play with you. You'll have those rare occurrences where somebody can dish it out, but they can't take it. All right. 
where someone will play with you and as soon as you play with them they catch your attitude this is why you don't deal with everybody some people are toxic that way and i know i don't want that around me i can't speak for you but sometimes when people act a certain way where it's just like it's something that you wouldn't do it's best for you to separate yourself from that person because y'all aren't a vibrational match whether it's a friendship business business partnership whether it's whatever kind of shit it's not going to go anywhere and it's not going to set off to sail without hitting a, rock, a, a, a big old iceberg in the middle of the ocean and sinking and breaking in half. You better have a life, better have a raft or a lifeboat or I mean a life jacket. So they want to be blessed with your presence one last time. But God said, no, this time you get the, you're getting the feeling that you shouldn't go back. You ever get that feeling? It's like, yeah, I just, I don't think I should go back. That's your intuition trying to relay a message to you through a higher power. You have connections to higher powers that try to warn you, forewarn you about things, give you intuitive insight in your life on certain areas. So when you're dealing with people and you know you're getting the the vibe from them that what you thought it was between you and them really isn't that it's probably best that you don't go back some people don't understand that you're not playing until they don't see you anymore that's why they want to be blessed with your presence again because they haven't seen you in a while they didn't know to take you that serious and now they're scared now they're worried now they're afraid that you'll never stop by again you'll never go see them again and you have your thoughts about it but no one wants to put themselves in a predicament or a bad situation or a negative one and when you go to think about seeing people all the bad thoughts come up because mostly you might have had only bad experiences or maybe the bad experiences were so rough that that's all you can think about when this person pops in your mind all the times that they played with you and possibly took you as a joke did things because they had their own preconceived ideas about you maybe they thought that you wouldn't go anywhere maybe they thought that you were stuck Maybe they thought that you needed them. Maybe they thought you couldn't live without them. Some people actually get beside themselves and have thoughts like this, where they actually feel they're that important. And this person most likely had the nerve to try to say, you think you're this, that, and the other, when you're probably the most humble person that they know, probably the most respectable person, respectful person that they know. But people like to play games like that. And not everybody is at the level to where they don't play games. Some people enjoy a good game. They they think they have some game, so they try to play games with you because they think it's fun. Some people are kids in adult bodies and they never grow past a certain point. So instead of playing games like a kid and video games and board games, they just evolve into an adult that plays adult games. They play games with people's time, people's mind, people's finances, people's careers, people's uh, work life, and some some even people's church life. So there are going to be people who play these games, and these are the people that you don't bless with your presence. We have to start looking at ourselves like these people tell us how we see ourselves. All right? They think you're too important. You might just have to see yourself as too important because if you did, you probably wouldn't put yourself around someone like this, right? If, if you viewed yourself as really important, then you probably wouldn't put yourself around someone that'll play with you. Think about all the important people out there that you've ever seen, people who are business businessmen and businesswomen, people who are stars, people who are, are famous or professional people. They really don't have much time. So the time that they have granted that they, they use to be with other people that's a very special time for them. It's a moment for them away from from their work or their career or their job or their business 
or or their passion or the thing they 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 use to provide for themselves their skills and people like to be around people people who work a lot and spend a lot of time to themselves they don't just want to be by themselves all the time they like being around people they like you know having a, a few cool people around but they just don't like to be played with because time is money time is money real important people realize that their time is worth something anybody that's not going to let someone play with them realizes their time is worth something and when people don't value their time they're not going to value yours there's there are a lot of dangerous people out here when it comes to becoming successful and figuring things out who to be around who not to be around who's an energy drainer who's a time waster who's a who's a, a person that's going to play games you have to be able to choose and pick the certain type of people that suit you best and that fit you best. People will say all types of things like, oh, you don't like people or oh, this, that and the other. They don't understand the type of person that you're you're making yourself. They don't understand the type of life that you want to live. You're a whole different type of, of being. They never met anyone like you before. And a lot of people who come in contact with you, that's why they're confused. That's why they get upset sometimes. That's why people will randomly not like you and dislike you and seem like they hate you. It's because they never met anyone like you before. They never met anyone like you before. And odds are they just might never will. And you don't really look into it that deep. You just don't want your time wasted. <laughs> you just don't want people playing with you. Because it's like you could you, when you choose to stop what you're doing to go around other people and, and they're going to take that time to play with you and to, to be disrespectful and to act like you didn't just stop working on something very important to go be with them. That's crazy. And, and, and none of us are any more important than each other. But some of us t take our time and our lives as being more important than each other. And if, if you want to do something with your life, you have to take your, yourself as important. You can't take yourself as a joke and, and think you're going to, to be a success. You're better off just not doing anything. But when people take their life as a joke, that's just a sign that this person is low motivated to no motivated. All right. Um, they don't see themselves as having a chance they may want to be successful. They may want something out of life. They, they may not know how to go about getting it. They may not be aware of how they can use their skill or talent or how they could develop it. They might not know what they want to do. They might not know what they want to like. So, I mean, what they like. So what they do with their time is they just try to keep their mind off of that, uh, of things like success, because it is too much work for them. And it kind of, it kind of makes them look at themselves like what are they going to do or they're not good enough instead of putting time into themselves to figure out what they want to do and make themselves good enough you remind people of the things about them that they try to sweep under the rug forget not pay attention to ignore act like it doesn't exist you can't deny the fact that you want a better life you can't deny it use a use a liar you don't want to with me you a hater and I can see because you're trying to play around with me. Yo, shout out to Fabulous and Nate Dog. I'm about to listen to that track after this. You can't deny it. Use a, use a liar. You don't want to with me. You're wasting my time. I can see. Like people will play games with you because they think it's cool. It's, they, they, they think it's like one of the best things to do to someone who has a lot of things to do. Yeah, you know, he was mad. Like some people are just grown kids. And once you see that childlike spirit on that adult, you be like, oh, okay, cool. Got you. And you just don't spend as much time with that person. When they call you out, when they try to hang out, when they try to chill, you're like, eh, not tonight, not this week. I I'll get up with y'all later. Because those are the distractions in life. Those are the people who might potentially hold you back. They might not be doing it on purpose. They might mean well, but it's certain people you can't be around when there's a certain type of person that you're trying to become 50 cents uh 50 cents said his uncle told him you're only as rich as the people you talk to for no reason if, if, if you're talking to somebody 
and you have a certain agenda for your life, it better be someone that could help get you somewhere and that could give you some, some knowledge or some information on how to become successful and on how to use your money correctly or, 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 or something that they could tell you to put your life in a direction where you want to go. Otherwise, that person could be an energy vampire and wasting your time. Pointless conversations. I had to avoid a lot of them. I walk fast. I get to where I need to go. I might be working on a beat. I might be doing this. I might be doing that. I need to go to the store, get something to eat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. When people see you stay to yourself and you're always busy, they become intrigued by you because you're a mystery and they want to know what you're doing, what you're up to, uh, why you're doing the things you're doing. How come you don't talk to anyone? And I mean, that's cool and all, but some of them don't go about it in the best ways. It's like they're instead of just straight up asking you, yo, I want to know some things about you. They're just kind of will be connivingly like nosy or like sneak, sneak on a sneak tip with the nosiness. And that, you know, some people, that's just their way of wanting to know about you. I respect a person straight up. That's just like, yo, I want to know this, that, and the other. That's what I respect. That's, I have nothing wrong with that. I, I can tell you what I want. But I, I don't like people who bait people to get into conversations and then try to weasel they were, weasel uh, their way into trying to figure you out and, and, and get to know about you for, for uh, just just mundane reasons. Like they act like you're, you're not real or something, like you're a ghost. Like you're, you're, you're real. They can talk to you. There's nothing wrong with you. you. You know, you like people. It's just sometimes people who are really busy, people who are introverted, people who say to themselves, they don't like the way how people operate and how people come at them. It's like, yo, the way you're um, projecting your energy right now, I'm not really feeling it. And it's not, it's, it's not something I'm trying to put myself around. You got to, and, and wasting your time, not only does it waste your time, but it wastes your energy. When you get from around these people, you got to go recharge. Then not only did they waste your time from doing what you were trying to complete, but now you got to go recharge to find the energy to go do it because maybe you got to, you might've even been so stressed out that you over the little time issue. And, but it, it all comes down to setting boundaries. Sometimes when people have conversations with you, you, you might have to say, Hey, I'd like to cut this conversation short. I don't have any more time. Simple as that. Like I got to cut this conversation short. Whenever someone starts talking about something that you don't want to talk about, whenever someone tries to get, too nosy or too in your business and they're not out front and open about it just be like yo you know what let's cut this short i gotta go just just be you it, it, like it, it may come off as rude to you all right a lot of things that i had to get used to doing because i'm like oh man i just oh just from overthinking it's like you think things are rude you think things are are being mean it's like nah that's just what it is like you're just being straight up you're being assertive it may feel cutthroat, but that's what it is. That's how people operate. So you don't have to look at it like you're doing someone wrong or you're being a bad person for not listening to someone or talking to someone. You got to go. You got things you got to do. All right. You got a life, too. And it, 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 people just don't do that. All right. People don't take advantage of other people like that and their time. Mostly if you have good energy and, and, and people like to to uh, people want you to listen to them and things like that, you have to be careful people could be stealing your energy while you're around them. They could be draining you and telling you something that is purposeless. And it's not that you don't like people. You just don't like meaningless conversations. You, you want to talk about something that means something. You don't want to just be, be talking just to talk. You don't want to just be around people just to be around people. And the thing is, people would get you around them more if they would, if they would be doing something. A lot of people that play around and that just take it easy sometimes they're not into much and they might just want to just all they do is just chill you want to do more than just chill you you have dreams or ambitions you have things that you want to be you have things you want to do with your life and you value every second as being important all right you value every second of your time as being important all right you don't want to take time off from the things that you do but when you do take time off you'll be damned if somebody will waste your time because you, you're not playing, you're not playing any games, and the, the the hard part about it is people can see you're not playing any games, and they'll still play with you. People will see you're not playing games, and they'll still play with you. And it's like you have to have a nah, not me mentality. You have to have a, a, a attitude that is non tolerant for the games that people play. 
you have to have an attitude that is, is non-tolerant for that, that type of behavior. People who get to where they want to get in life, they're, they're really cutthroat with their time and who they let into their, into their life. They don't just deal with, with anybody. You know, people are prone to jealousy. People are prone to envy. People are prone to hate. You really have to choose and pick the correct people. To, to be in your, in, in, in your uh, vicinity because choosing the wrong person, it, it could be the end. It could be the, 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 the oncoming of destruction. People who want to become successful, they don't have time for that. So, like, you have to realize how much of a blessing that you are. I know we want to be humble and we look at ourselves as equal to other people. And that's very true. We are equal to other people. Nobody's better than anyone. But some people manage their time differently. Some people know that their time is worth money. Some people respect themselves and they take themselves seriously. And some people may think you take yourself too seriously. But hey, I mean, look, look at people who look, look like look, look at people like David Goggins. People probably say that to him all the time. You're too serious. You take yourself too serious. Who cares? Who cares what people think? If somebody thinks you take things too serious just it's probably because you're very focused and you're very attentive to how you're you how you're using your day you you probably get a lot done in a day as you should you got 24 hours in a day who, who who's to say you can't use all every hour the best way you can even even sleep <laughs> even sleep are right, you like, even when you sleep you're using your 24 hours so if, if, if you are resonating with this video and you watch my channel you probably make a lot you probably use your time to the best of your ability and you're probably ex extremely creative highly intelligent and you know what you want to do and you're not going to allow others that don't get in the way you, you don't have you, you don't have any space for that you don't have space for that so they want to be blessed with your presence they better start acting like it all right. But the thing is, God said no, because God knows where you're going. God knows where you're going. Everybody can't go. Everybody can't sit at your table. Everybody can't have a seat. Some some people are going to have to wait outside in the waiting room and they, and they ain't going to never get in. You know how when people go to clubs and they got the VIP section, you're in the VIP section. They can't get in. This is VIP, baby. You, you, you got to get there yourself. Very important people over here. Very important, yo, V-I-V, very important vessels, all right? V-I-V, very important vessels. Comment it down below. Comment it down below. I know for a fact that my time means something to me, and I know for a fact that your time means something to you. Most people aren't, like, you. Like it, it's an art in making the use of your day. It's an art. You wake up, you get attacked goals possibly go to work you know come home maybe work out whatever people have routines people have routines people aren't just sitting around not doing anything but a lot of people who are playing around that's what they do they play around they sit around and they're they they that's what they like to do we're not judging people we're not clowning people for what they do some people don't do as much as other people and that's cool that's their choice but you don't want them playing with you because you're not what you're, you're not doing what they do. You don't play with them because they don't do what you do. But they, they, they if they can catch the whiff that you have a sense of urgency, people will always be trying to steal time from you. It's just how the game is played. And they see that you're a very important person who's moving with a sense of urgency and they want a piece of that. You heard what I said? I said they see you're a very important person moving with a sense of uh, a sense of urgency and they want a piece of that. It's up to you whether you give it to them or not. Depending on how they're moving, God might say no. And if he says no, distance. That's what they get. All right. But I'm telling you, God, if, if you are feeling like it's, it's not benefiting you, right, and you could be doing something better with your time, you already know the answer. God, God is giving you the feeling. God is giving you the vibe. All right. God gave you a higher sensory level of perception so that way you can tell who's real and who's fake use your blessings accordingly use your gifts accordingly 
all right, because they want to be blessed with your presence again. But I'm telling you, God said no. I'm telling you, God said that was the last time their behavior showed you and you saw it. So once you see that people's behavior is going down a certain path, once you see that people are only going to, to behave a certain way and they don't want to change, cool, that's fine. They don't, they don't take themselves as serious as you do. They, could, they, 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 they don't have to. There's no law that says they have to work hard. They have to want what you want. They have to want success. But you don't let them take that away from you. You don't let them stop you from achieving your goals. Just letting someone get in your way. That is a time thief. If, if you allow that to keep happening, it's going to be more time and more time and more time and more time that's taken from you. I don't even let you. I don't care if we work together. I'm not going to let you chew my ear off. And it's like these souls are desperate. These souls are beyond desperate. They want to find someone who's peaceful, someone that's chilling, someone that is, is, is just relaxing. And they want to chew your ear off. I'm not letting people chew my ear off. I don't want to hear that. I don't feel like talking about that. You got to speak up to certain people and, and let them know where you stand. You don't have to be that nice. You don't have to hear somebody's whole story. You may not feel like hearing that right now. People can catch attitudes. When people catch attitudes and they get upset when you say no, just ignore that. They may throw a temper tantrum, but that, I mean that's, that's really not your your business to entertain that. And a lot of people will do that because that's a, a, a manipulation tactic. They throw a tantrum. They try to get what they want. They act out. They usually get what they want. That's what people do from childhood. So it's like you're really dealing with a complete kid. They don't ever want to grow up. They're a Toys R Us kid. All right? They don't never want to grow up. And when people don't grow up and you're growing it's not that it makes you better. It's not like I'm growing. I can't be around you. It's, it's not. It's not that kind of party. It's like a, oh, okay. If I if I stay around you, I'm, I'm gonna be held back. Who wants to voluntarily hold themselves back? Nobody's voluntarily holding holding themselves back anymore. People see what success can get for them. Right now, people have seen the most images of success probably flashed in front of their face more than ever in history. I used to have TV, but now people can entertain themselves with what they like. They can choose what they want to watch. You got the power of choice. And and if you are a successful person, you're probably seeing success, 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 success. And uh, seeing enough of people with it, you know that you can get it. And it's like, yo, why are why is everybody else just doing whatever they want to do and not working towards making a way for themselves? It's like you you will be it's like you, you you are not going to be that type of person to sit and complain and to to wallow and to 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 just be be content with with poverty or content with being broke or content with, with any negative situation. That's just not it. That's not it. That's not something that I'm into. And I honestly believe if, if you're watching this video, especially up to this point, I believe that's something that you're not into either. So you are a blessing, all right? You're a blessing, 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 blessing. You're a blessing, 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 blessing. You are a blessing, all right? So you need to know that people who are a blessing can't just put themselves in any room, can't just put themselves around anybody, can't just uh, walk into any environment. You have to know that the type of, of person you are you are only supposed to be around certain type of people, only quality people. Some people may argue and say only top quality people. But whatever person you place yourself around, make sure somebody that takes themselves serious, takes their own time serious. So that way they'll take you and your time serious. Even if they don't take you serious, at least you'll know. Because people who take their time serious, they don't want their time wasted. So if somebody doesn't take you serious, but they take themselves serious, they're going to be like, hey, nah, I'm not dealing with you. That what? That actually helps you. Their, re their rejection is your protection. 
A lot of people rejecting you, it saves time. When people are straight up and honest and be like, nah, I don't want to deal with you. That's cool with me. Why? Because I may have to deal with the, with the, the suffer or the loss of opportunity. But guess what? I have my time. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. We out.